Uh, this is the second part of the uh, two videos based on European swaptions. Again, I take the example from John C. Hull. And in the previous video, I was ex had explained how we estimated the forward swap rate uh, from being to being 6.09% and how we extracted that figure from this continuous rate where the LIBOR yield curve was flat uh, for uh, the foreseeable future. Um, the formula that we use here is based on the black model. Um, the estimation for the value of the swaption to the party pane fixed with the right to pay fixed um, is analogous to a call option. And so we, we have this forward swap rate and then we take the normal um, cumulative probability of the standard variable and D1 and D2, uh, D1, D2 estimated uh, in the usual way. We take the, um, again, the, using the black model, we could think of this the forward rate, the exercise, the volatility squared multiplied by the maturity of the option divided by 2 over the volatility of the option multiplied by the square root of the maturity. Again, we typically in the black model, we have an exponential term here, and then uh, with discounting by the continuous rate um, by the time period. In fact, uh, for a swaption, given that the swap occurs over a series of time periods, we've got to loop that, and uh, we have a three-year swap uh, that is semi-annual, in other words, we have six payments, and that annuity factor is the sum of these exponential terms divided by two, given that it's semi-annual. But D1 we estimate using this as our template, and D2 also using is equal to D1 minus sigma square root of t, and we apply the numbers that we've extracted from here, and we have a D1, D2, then we estimate the value of the swaption by taking 100, could be 100 million, multiplying by the annuity term. So this is a, a present value type annuity term. Um, and then the forward swap rate. And then we take the normal cumulative probability, the D1, normal cumulative probability of D2. And then um, we have the uh, exercise which is what the swap, the fixed rate and the swap. Okay, and we, t we get here uh, 2.07 as our estimate for the swaption value. So again, the way we read this swaption value is we want to know the question that we have here or the example that we set out here. We have a payer swaption. The payer swaption, if we again look at um, previous definition gives the owner of the swaption the right to enter into a swap where they pay the fixed leg and receive the floating leg. Um, that, for all intents and purposes, then is like a call option. And we take the D1 and D2, the forward rate, the forward swap rate appears here. We take the product of the forward swap rate N D1 minus SK the rate, the fixed rate in the swap is the exercise times the normal cumulative probability of D2. Again, to read these rates, it's a little bit tricky. I leave a link to a video clip I have to illustrate how we would read a normal cumulative probability table um, in, the, in, in, um, in a link below the video.